As you described the externalities and the communities, it sounds like another situation that we see so often in environmental law where the pollution and the environmental problems often hit low-income minority communities hardest. Is that accurate in this Absolutely. situation? The communities are economically disadvantaged and as you said, they're, they're put in a bad situation of choosing jobs at the uh, cost of all the other harms they have to suffer. No, that's exactly right. It's a, the, sort of the jobs versus environment uh, uh, the issue uh, is alive and well in Central Appalachia in, in, in the context of, uh, of coal mining. Uh, is this an environmental justice issue? Well, some, some see environmental justice as uh, being limited in scope to uh, issues of race and ethnicity. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, I don't see environmental justice in that way, at least in, in this context. Uh, uh, environmental justice uh, is something that uh, is important uh, to communities uh, that may not have significant numbers of racial or ethnic minorities. Uh, what environmental justice means in this context in Central Appalachia is that there are disempowered communities, uh, people who have no voice, who can't pick up the phone and, and, and call legislators or politicians. Uh, uh, when pollution occurs, nobody listens. Um, and so that's an element of environmental justice. Uh, and the people uh, of Central Appalachian communities, uh, including those who work in the mines, are entitled to have a law enforced. And they have their water supply protected. They have their streams uh, unpolluted. Uh, not to have to put up with uh, blasting and, and dust that, that uh, results from irresponsible mountaintop removal mining. It's very simple. If the law is enforced, if there uh, are uh, consequences when companies violate the law, uh, then uh, they're not going to do that. They're going to internalize those costs. And it's not going to make coal that much more expensive. We're talking about pennies on the dollar. Uh, it, it's just a culture of allowing coal companies to do whatever they want uh, to communities that are out of the public eye, who have no voice, and, and who are virtually uh, ignored by uh, political leadership.